Hi there folks. Now those of you who are users of resource management are probably wondering when Smartsheet plans to link its reporting back into Smartsheet so that you can then get a good portfolio view of the hours booked, the cost you've incurred and every, everything else that you can currently extract as just um, on-screen reports or downloads. I don't know when that's going to happen, it's a really good question, but did you know you can already do that using Bridge? Let's take a look at a quick example. Here I have a fairly standard portfolio sheet that I've added a hours booked column to for the information that we're going to be extracting from resource management, along with an additional column that gives us all the, all the names of the projects within resource management. We're always using the same template when we create this, um, and it's just got the prefix of the project ID against the, uh, the template name. Over in resource management, I've now got a, a timesheet open where I have a couple of these projects uh, where I'll be making some time bookings. So what I'm going to do is I am going to round up the hours for Tuesday to six against project number 10. And I might put a full day's worth against project number one. And that is enough to then trigger a timesheet entry into, um, into resource management. You don't actually have to click the submit button. Now let's go over into Bridge. Here I have the workflow that initiates the, the data extraction from resource management. Firstly, we've got to go and get all the information from the portfolio sheet, which is what the get sheet function is for here. That will give us a list of all the rows. Um, and then we cycle through the rows and go down into a child workflow that then for each row looks at the, uh, at the resource management reference, project reference uh, that, we, that we can pull from the, um, uh, which cell is it? It is within data and RM hours ref. So that value that, we, that I showed you in the other column, that's, the, that's what we're looking up. Um, and we're, we're gonna pull all the time entries for that. We then, within that, we, that gives us an array of various bits of information uh, for that project, including the number of hours. And then with the array management, all I'm doing is just trimming that down into an array that gives us all the hours entries against the project. And then some array, does what it says on the tin and we perform an update row to put the information back in. So if I go and trigger this off now, all I'll need to do, I have a previous run there, let's go and run it again, refresh it a couple of times just to get it going. And then before very long, we shall be able to go back to the portfolio sheet and see that running. But firstly, just in case you haven't seen Bridge running before, what it will do is it will cycle through this for X amount of projects however many projects we've got in here. So it's already done one, it's going for the second one and the third, etc. So you just see it go through and it will return values and put them back into the, uh, into the sheet. So we should already see, if we go back here, uh, that the sheet needs an update. There you go. So if I hit refresh, we can go over to the right hand side and you can see that the RM hours, which were at uh, 227.1, are now at 235.1 for PMX1. And then when it gets to the bottom, we should see that update. And I think I put six hours in there, so that should go up to 10. Uh, let's just go back and, uh, and take a look to see how well this is, is chunking through. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So only a couple more to go through. And then we'll get the, uh, the final value in there. Give it a moment. Here we go. So there you go. We've got some resource management data coming back into Smartsheet. Now let me just reiterate that this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to extracting resource management reports and putting them back into Smartsheet. There are a lot of options available via the, uh, the Bridge Workflow Builder. So um, I really encourage you, if you have it, to take a look at it or to get in contact with us to find out more about you know, what's available and what you can do. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.